Hello, and welcome to the VMware ARIA automation video series, Your Journey to Success, using templates with ARIA Automation Config. The VMware ARIA Automation Administrator will add the ARIA Automation Config integration to ARIA Automation Assembler in this demo. Then the Administrator will integrate a salt resource object with the ARIA Automation template to apply operating system and application states. By incorporating ARIA Automation Config state files into your automation strategy, you can achieve a faster time to value for your deployments. To begin, let's log into VMware ARIA Automation Config with the internal root account. If you have VMware ARIA Lifecycle Suite deployed already, your config instance may already be integrated with your VIDM account and so you can use that to log in here with your configuration admin credentials. Since this is a standalone, I'll go ahead and proceed to log in with root. Let's go to all minions. Now let's take a look at our salt master and click on the minion ID here. Now let's expand the FQDNs and confirm that indeed we have the appropriate FQDN listed here. Great. Now, let's log into our ARIA automation. And here I'll use my administrator Fritz account. Password. Sign in. Let's go ahead and click Assembler under My Services. infrastructure. We'll need to scroll down all the way down to integrations. Click add integration. Config. And here let's go ahead and fill in a name for integration, the host name. The running environment is the embedded ABX on-premise extensibility. And then our username and password we just used to log in to our config instance previously, so uh, the username root. Go ahead and start filling this out. Great. Let's go ahead and add the integration. So now, with integration added, we can uh, go ahead and deploy a minion and apply a state file to the existing machine. So after you deploy cloud templates or onboard resources, you can run actions in VMware ARIA Automation Assembler to manage those resources. You can run the attach salt stacked resource day two action to add minions, apply state files, variables, and grains to existing deployments. Let's take a look at this cloud machine deployment here. Make sure we have the machine selected. Click actions, attach the salt stack resource. And since this machine was not deployed with remote access configured in its template, we're prompted to provide the username and password. If it was a provision with remote access, this radio button would be illuminated and we could choose those credentials that it was deployed with, or we could optionally select password and update the credentials in case they may have changed uh, post deployment. So let's go ahead and continue to enter the username, password, master ID. And this is the username for the machine that's deployed here. And we'll put the master ID of our salt instance. And let's go ahead and select our config environment as corp. <clears throat> that's where we have our state files we've uh, created for our company. 
select the NTB state file. Let's go ahead and close the drop down. Scroll down and add our additional minion parameters here. <clears throat> In this case, it'll be grains. Eventually, this will be a wiki server. Go ahead and click submit. Yeah, here, let's go ahead and click history. Take a few minutes to deploy. All right, great. Machines deployed. Let's take a look at the config. So here we can see all the grain details that have been enumerated by uh, the salt master here. We can see our role there, wiki. Right up top. And all right. So here, yeah, you can see the grain data was retrieved on the timestamp there. So uh, the minion has been attached, the state file has been applied and uh, the grain data has been updated in the config instance. So uh, I guess the next step is to add the salt stack resource in the uh, cloud machine template we have here. When you integrate VMware ARIA automation config with ARIA automation, you can apply the salt stack resource to install salt minions on machines in your deployments. After the minion is deployed, you can use ARIA automation configs powerful configuration management drift remediation, and state management capabilities to manage your resources. Minions are agents that run the Salt Minion service. The service subscribes to jobs published by a Salt Master, which is a server that runs the Salt Master service. When a specific job applies to a minion, the minion executes the job. You can use the Salt Stack resource to deploy minions and apply state files when you deploy Linux and Windows machines. To add or update minions and state files on existing deployments, you can run the update salt configuration re resource day two actions. So to begin adding the minion to our template, let's go ahead and click cloud machine template here. All right, great. Let's go ahead and scroll down to the config section. All right, and let's Go ahead and drag this over here and connect this to the machine and that'll fill in the host for us. Let's go ahead and if we click into master ID here, we can uh, see ARIA automation template to go ahead and, and uh, pre-populate some of our values for us here. So let's go ahead and just click that. All right, and let's click into our state files update this and so you can apply multiple state files here from the same environment so for us let's just go ahead and uh, apply our corporate uh, NTP configurations here it's just NTPD and then init.sls uh, go ahead and select our corp environment here and we need to make one other change, like I was mentioning before, the uh, remote access uh, is how the minion is installed on our machines. So for this to be successful, we need to go ahead and add the remote access, uh, in our case, username and password configuration here in our cloud machine properties. So let's go ahead and just add that in here. And then there are many authentication uh, schemes. Uh, for us, we're just using username and password. Let's go ahead and click that. And now we'll specify our username. Since we have it as an input value, we can just use the dollar sign bracket and then begin selecting input dot username for this. 
close the bracket, and do the same for password. set. Let's go ahead and deploy this and we'll just give it a name, Cloud Machine NTP. Click next. And we'll use the default and put uh, demo user and password. Deploy. So we can see at deploying the machine and attaching the solid resource, I'll go ahead and click into history here. Watch the progress. All right, and this is just about done here. click back to our topology. We can see here we have our demo machine deployed with our salt uh, resource attached to it. And take a look at the config. Once again, we can see the state file that's applied. We click the salt resource as well, and review the state files noted there too. Okay, so next, let's go ahead and update this uh, salt resource. We'll click actions and update salt configuration. So this time we'll select the SSE environment and we'll select the wiki state file. And we'll go ahead and click submit. And so now let's go ahead and hit history. Now the state file for the wiki server configuration will be applied to this machine as well. So shortly we'll have a machine deployed with a minion, the NTP state file, and the wiki state file. So let's go ahead and click back to the demo machine. You can highlight its address here and right click and click go to. And now we can see that the wiki has been deployed to this machine from the state file uh, in ARIA automation config from an ARIA automation uh, template and uh, deployment in assembler. So thank you for taking your time to watch this demonstration. I hope you have a great day.